What if we told you that the moon, yes, that familiar face in the night sky, is about to reveal secrets we've never seen before? Thanks to the Verici Rubin Observatory, a revolutionary telescope nestled in the Chilean Andes, we're now witnessing the moon through a lens that's 21st century's fiction turned reality. This isn't just another lunar photo op. This is the beginning of an entirely new era in astronomy. And what we're seeing is breathtaking. What is the Vera Rubin Observatory? Let's start with the basics. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, formerly known as the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, is one of the most powerful sky mapping instruments ever built. Located in northern Chile at an altitude of over 8,800 feet, it's designed to capture vast portions of the night sky in ultra-high detail every single night. At the heart of this observatory is its groundbreaking LSST camera, the largest digital camera ever constructed for astronomy. It boasts 3.2 gigapixels, that's about 268 times more powerful than your latest smartphone. But here's the twist. The observatory wasn't originally built to focus on the moon. It was built to map the entire universe, galaxies, stars, dark matter, supernovae, even potential Earth-threatening asteroids. So why is it suddenly looking at the moon? Why the moon now? Great question. For decades, scientists have studied the moon using a mix of space missions, orbiters, and ground telescopes. But the moon is tricky. Its brightness overwhelms most sensitive instruments, and its position relative to the Earth makes long-term, detailed observation challenging from the ground. But now, with advancements in image processing, sensors, and machine learning, the Rubin Observatory team has figured out how to observe the moon without being blinded by it. And here's the kicker. What the Rubin Observatory captures isn't just beautiful. It's scientifically priceless. What's so special about these moon observations? The moon is like a time capsule, a 4.5 billion year old record of the early solar system. Every crater, dust trail, and surface crack holds clues about the violent birth of our cosmic neighborhood. Now, with the Rubin Observatory's extreme sensitivity and wide field of view, we can um, spot tiny sub-kilometer surface changes, like fresh meteorite impacts or landslides monitor transient phenomena like light flashes or surface temperature shifts, track lunar dust movement, helping us prepare for future lunar bases, and perhaps most importantly, analyze how Earth-based light pollution is bouncing off the moon's surface. Think about that. The moon is not just reflecting sunlight. It's starting to reflect humanity's glow, and that has huge implications for Earth-based astronomy. a new window into lunar science. One of the biggest revelations is the moon's role in planetary science calibration. Here's how it works. Since the moon is a well-understood object with predictable brightness and surface properties, it serves as a kind of cosmic benchmark. By observing how light from the sun and earth interacts with the moon's surface under different conditions, scientists can fine-tune instruments used to study exoplanets, asteroids, and even dark energy. In fact, Vera Rubin's early lunar data is already being used to improve models of light reflection, known as photometric calibration, across the entire LSST mission. That might sound technical, but here's the takeaway. The moon is now helping us understand the rest of the universe. The moon reimagined. We've all seen those sharp NASA images from lunar missions, but the Rubin Observatory gives us something completely different. It shows us the moon in motion over days, weeks, and months. We're seeing micro changes, shadows shifting, surface texture evolving, even faint gas or dust interactions that were invisible before. And soon, Rubin's data may help settle major scientific debates. Is the moon still geologically active? Are there unknown sources of water ice under the surface? Can we predict future meteorite strikes on the moon's surface? These aren't sci-fi questions anymore. They're real, and Rubin's camera is watching. Implications for future moon missions. Let's talk future. NASA, SpaceX, and private companies like Blue Origin are racing to return humans to the moon. There are plans for lunar mining, moon bases, and even deep space gateways. But to land and build safely, we need detailed, up-to-date maps of the terrain. 
We need to know how the surface behaves over time. We need to anticipate how dust and light affect instruments and habitats. Ruben is giving us that real-time insight, and this is just the beginning. It's no longer about reaching the moon, it's about understanding it. Why this matters to us on Earth. You might be thinking, this is all amazing, but how does it affect us down here? Well, here's the big picture. Vera Rubin's moon data helps protect Earth from asteroid threats. It improves models used in weather and satellite prediction. It contributes to our understanding of Earth's own geology and orbital dynamics. And for educators and future scientists, it's a source of inspiration and open source data. This observatory isn't just changing astronomy. Um, it's opening the door for global collaboration across continents, across generations, from classrooms in the US and Canada to observatories in Europe and Australia. Everyone can access the moon like never before. So the next time you look up at the moon, remember this, you're not just seeing a glowing rock, you're seeing the future of space exploration unfolding right now. Thanks to the Vera Rubin Observatory, the moon just shining, uh, isn't just shining, um, it's speaking to us. And if you found this as mind-blowing as we did, hit that like, subscribe, and drop a comment. What do you think Vera Rubin will discover next? This is Deep Space Unknown. Thanks for watching, and keep looking up.